friends, welcome back to the sawmill. A lot of you guys asked me in a previous video, why did the 754 go to the dealer? Two reasons. Number one is for the 50 hour service and number two is to get the lane shark installed. Check this thing out. All right, friends, this right here is called the lane shark and it's pretty much a brush hog that goes on your front end loader but can do a lot more than a brush hog can do. Right there's the two blades. I think this thing is rated for 42 inches wide on the cut and up to three inches as far as the size of brush you can cut with it. Right there, we got the hydraulic motor on the top. This is an Eaton. It's a very good motor right there. Half inch hydraulic lines. I'll talk about that here in just a second, how we get power up here to it. But something really interesting about this brush cutter not only do you cut in the position that it's in, it also articulates in a lot of different positions, guys. It moves all around. It's gonna be really nice to have here at the farm to clean up the creeks, to clean up the driveway, a lot of brush cutting that you can't get to with a regular bush hog. As you can see right there, it attaches to the tractor the same way the grapple does. You pull these two levers, and that's all you gotta do other than hook up the hydraulic hoses. Right here, as you can see, right there's the third function valve or a diverter valve. Mine's a diverter, actually. It works about the same way. That's where my grapple hooks up. Right here is two new connections. And this right here is what powers the lane shark. So back here, this is very important. Right here, you got the rear remotes. This one right here is sending hydraulic fluid to the lane shark and it does not come back to the other side on the return on this remote. Instead, they put a new valve in right there and that goes straight to the sump. So the fluid comes directly back through this half inch hose and dumps into the hydraulic tank instead of going through that one right there. So it's a pretty good setup and you got to have a detent on your rear remote to run it this way, which I do have on this tractor. That way there's constant flow coming from this to the lane shark. If you're wondering why I can't run this off the third function, here's the reason. There's not enough flow through the third function to run this lane shark. I think you could probably get it spinning, but not at max capacity. The hose going to the third function is only three eighths. We've got a half inch hose going to it now, and it gets more hydraulic flow from the rear remote than it would if we ran it through the third function or my diverter, same thing. So if you've never seen a lane shark before, a little bit about the company, they're made in Florida. They're sold at Oneida Equipment, right there is my dealer, my TYM dealer over in Oneida, Tennessee. So if you're interested in these, give these guys a call. They do really good work. They service all my tractors here. And this is not a sponsored video or nothing like that. Nobody's paying me to tell you guys about this implement or show it to you guys today. But I'm really looking forward to using this thing. I think it's going to be a really good asset here at the farm. And one more quick shout out before we get started. I want to say thanks to BJ, Aaron, Jason, Willie, and I can't remember the guy who drove the truck today. But that's the guys at Oneida that put this thing on here and kind of worked this deal for me. I really appreciate you guys. And if you're looking for a good TYM tractor or this implement, give them a call. There's a link down below that goes to their uh, Facebook page as well as their contact information. I think they're about an hour north of Knoxville, Tennessee, if you're not familiar with that location. Let's fire this tractor up. I'll turn this on up here and you can see how it works as far as how fast the blades are spinning. Then we'll go down here in the bottom field and do some cutting with it. Man, it's a nice day today. The high today is 81. And it is February the 22nd. That's pretty nice for this time of year. I'll take that any day. guys the first place we're going to work is down here in this lower field and this is a small hay field my neighbor cuts for hay 
But this year we're going to be fencing it in and probably putting some cows down here or something. It's kind of wet down here, but I think we can get a few things done without getting stuck. Famous last words. All right, guys, I won't be able to get over there today and clean all this up. It's a little too wet over in this whole area to drive over there. But we will do that as soon as this rain ends and we get some dry weather. But I think I can come over here on this side of the creek and reach over with the front end loader and test this thing out and do some mowing on the other side of the stream right there. Start cleaning that up a little. Make a little progress on that today. And that's not a big area. That's probably 50 by, gosh, maybe 80 or so. And it stays pretty wet, but I think once it dries up, we can get in there and mow it down. So we'll get the lane shark and change positions. That'll make more sense when you see me do it here in a minute. And we'll come down through here and mow right up against that barbed wire fence right there. Probably avoid these cedars we'll cut all that down right there make it look a whole lot better and as soon as we tear this fence out i'll come through here and knock all this down make this place look a whole lot better it looks like it's eating it up pretty good Alright guys, we're going to move on to the fence line. I just can't get close enough to the creek without going in it and getting stuck to get the mower over there where it needs to be. So, let's move on to something we can get to, which is this fence line. Alright, there's one thing I did not do was take the hoses off of the quick connect. I think you're supposed to do that when you change positions, but I'm going to keep a good watch on them and make sure I don't get them kinked up anywhere. Should be okay. Now I'll bring this back around. My battery went dead, guys, so you missed out on some of this. But it's pretty simple to get it in this position. It ain't too bad. You just gotta do it once or twice and uh, makes it easier over time. And something I will do the next time, I'll take these hoses off because half the time I was trying to position this, I was getting the hoses out of the way so I wouldn't kink them or pull on them any. So. If you do buy this lane shark, take the hoses off. I'll do it from now on. Make this a lot easier. This is the position we want, guys, to do the fence row. Put in this pin. We'll be ready to get to work.
Looky there, friends. The hatefulest cat on YouTube is with us today. Hello, mama. She's been in the house all day asleep. That's a shocker. All right, guys, we're done mowing for the day back up here at the house. The next thing I need to do is turn on the lights for the chickens. There may be a few eggs in here. Looks like we got a few. None of those. Got three in that one. I think that mates 10 for the day. If you're wondering why we cut this light on every day. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing? The reason we cut this on, it will encourage the chickens to come in for the night. We got an automatic door out there. It shuts down at seven o'clock. If we cut this light on about five o'clock, everybody will come in and not get trapped outside. How we doing today, girls? Y'all doing okay? Y'all have a lot more personality than that hateful cat does out there. No treats though, maybe later. All right, guys, looky there. You won't find eggs like that in the grocery store. Good stuff right there. Hopefully I won't drop them. I should have dropped my basket. All right, Bruno, who's in the back of the tracker? Cabbage. Cabbage, what are you doing in there, buddy? We gotta take all this down to the burn pile and Cabbage wants to go for a ride. Bruno, how are we gonna get him out of there? Now when we drive, yeah. he'll get out. He'll get out when we drive. Yeah. He's stretching. Goodness sakes alive, look how big he is. That's the biggest cat we got. There's reindeer, friends. Mm -hmm. Bruno's favorite toy. 